Hey everyone, guess what? What? We're moving back into the RV. Yay! Yay. Hi, I'm Rhonda. I'm Angie. And we are Adventures in Nomadness. All right, you might be asking, well, why would you move back into your RV when you've got that really nice cabin over there? Well, believe it or not, even though this is a tinier space, it's a lot easier to live in. We've got larger water tanks. You've seen me lugging around, you know, 40 pound jugs of water, five gallon tanks, and that's kind of a pain in the butt. And hey, we got 28 gallons in here and 30 gallons in the back of the truck to fill this with. So it's a lot easier. Uh, plus with the solar, the batteries, it's just a simple on and off switch for all of our lights. Simple on and off switch if we want to run the microwave. Man, it's pretty stinking easy. Whereas in the cabin, you know, we're having to move the generator around, put gas in it and fire it up. Anyway, we're super excited and we're going on our first trip tomorrow, only 10 miles away, but it'll be a good shakedown and do you want to rise and we'll have some videos on that. But we've got a couple projects to knock out and some stuff to look at, tires to, to kick, kick. <laughs> uh, before we go. So let's get moved in. Okay, well, it's a little bit of a disaster area here right now. We got stuff here, stuff there. Uh, I'm gonna paint the shelves outside, the shelves that go in here, and not because we felt like we really had to or anything. It'll just look a little nicer, and we had some leftover kills to use. So we're like, well, why not? Um, got some other stuff to do, and what else? Oh yeah, the cushions. So we're really excited about replacing those as well. Our butts will be very happy for the extra padding. After a couple years on the same cushions, they definitely break down and then your back starts to hurt because your butt's on the, the hard plywood underneath. So let's get to it. New shower curtain. cushions. All right, I got the bottom cushions and the back cushions for where we sit. We've got them out here. I'm going to take out the old ones. I'm going to try and stuff the new ones in. Wish me luck. I need a break from the cushion replacing gymnastics. That's quite a workout. This is the old foam. And after two years, it's really uh, seen its day. And this is the new stuff. So this stuff here is an HR33. It's a high resilience uh, polyurethane. And the 33 uh, number designation is the basically the density of it. So 33 to 44, 45 are great for seat cushions and seat backs. And you can see, from where we sit, and you can see that this is just really, really squished down at the front corner. And so this is gonna be really nice in replacing that. Uh, it's not cheap, especially up in Alaska. We probably would have been smarter to wait till we got down the lower 48, but we're moving back in and our butts wanna be comfortable. Uh, I will say that after two years, we've been extremely happy with the ultra leather that we've got. It looks, looks fantastic still after a couple years. All right back to it. More cushion replacement Olympics. Squishy, squishy. Squish, squish. Well, one thing we wish we would have done is that uh, back bench 
seat. We wish we ha would have had this uh, split in two because a lot of people are doing that. We didn't think about doing that and it wasn't really offered as an option either. So if we were to do this again, I would or if we ever have the upholstery redone, we would definitely have this split. Just makes it a lot easier, especially as I'm getting ready to replace this cushion. It's going to be a little bit more unwieldy because of the size. Uh, that's all right. Does that? Just sit over here. Oh, see if it does the happy dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, isn't that a big difference? Oh, yeah, well, you don't sink in, so yeah, God, I, this is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Well, today's move in day into our RV, and we're still busy trying to get stuff organized. And our next step is going back through our clothes again. Uh, previously, we had these bigger uh, plastic. Um, containers that we had for clothes and they worked actually really great and uh, they fit up there but they were a little tight so we took a suggestion from another uh, van lifer uh, they even have less space than we do and we're gonna go with the Eagle Creek bags and we're gonna pare down our clothes anymore I I even more <laughs> which sometimes can be very challenging I don't feel like we have that many clothes to begin with but as I'm looking at some of our clothes there's some stuff that I haven't really worn in a while uh, so I'm gonna try and just pare down to the bare minimum easier said than done it really is Our plan was to move yesterday into the RV, but the weather's been pretty crappy and we wanted to go to the campground and film a bunch of stuff. It was a lot harder to do that in the rain. It's still raining. We seem to have quite the knack for hooking up the trailer and going places in the dumping rain. We've had nothing but dry weather until the uh, time it came to make reservations. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna go for it this morning. The rain is supposed to stop within the next couple hours. Fingers crossed. It always changes up here in Alaska. But we're putting the final things inside the RV and getting ready to hook up and head to the campground and dewinterize. Can you tell I'm excited? Just a little bit. officially all moved in and we're so excited we even got the good bubbly glasses out so this is pretty awesome being back in our home this always feels like our home even though the cabin's a little bit bigger this has more storage believe it or not everything had its, its place and it's not cluttered um, but I, I think we're kind of we're being in this campground right now going oh we've been really spoiled over the last year a couple years we've been really spoiled over the last year because we haven't been in an RV park and it's very crowded and it's Friday night, so there's tons of RVs that are pulling in. And it's just, uh, we're used to being on our own. So it's gonna be an interesting reintroduction back into camping society. <laughs> no, but this just reaffirms why we don't like campgrounds. No, I mean, but they we have their place and we still like to do it occasionally. It's a, it's a good way to just like, if you need to do a whole bunch of work on your RV or something. Which is what we're doing. Um, we came here to this uh, camper park for the full water and electricity so we can do one rise and do a few things. We're excited. We're back in our home. Cheers. Cheers.
Okay. <laughs> <laughs>